Uh, hi, gents. Recently moved from a QLED to a QD OLED for my big screen PC gaming. I've been introduced to the scourge that is VRR Flickr. I know oh, most yeah. of you have been using OLEDs for a while, so how do you deal with it? My own research points to it just being a, to a case being a case of deal with it. "Quote unquote," and fortunately, it's and and fortunately, it's only been a big deal in one game so far, Stellaris, where it's like a constant strobe light. Turning VRR off solves it, obviously, but that's not ideal for most games. Cheers for your time and good luck with the meetings this week! Exclamation point. Uh, John, is it just a case of just deal with it? The VR flicker yeah. stuff. I'm so- um, it's not it's, been it's an OLED issue low, for me. Low. So the thing that is, only seems to happen when the frame rate in question is quite variable. Yeah, and you're looking at stuff that's like near near black, kind of like low light. It's it's frame time variations it, of a higher degree, I think, too. Right? right. When the frame time is more variable, it's just so it's just the nature of it. In my humble opinion, they should not they should keep VRR on, but lock down the frame rate through other means to prevent as much of the variation of frame times as possible. So they're probably getting, I don't know, like 90. And then Stellaris, I don't actually know the performance profile of that game, but I'd imagine it's got bad frame times in some aspect. And then maybe lock it down to 70 or something like that uh, so that the frame time variation is better and you don't get as much, I don't know, of the flicker, which is a yeah, it's a real possibility. I think even if it's steady, though, some some near black stuff can have a little bit of VR flicker as well. Right. But I can't say it really. It's something I notice most of the time, just in a couple instances, mm-hmm. like the uh, the medium. You saw there. I played that. Oh yeah, of course. That yeah. that had a lot of that, that VR game, flicker. Yeah. Uh, also, like the I think the main menu of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two, that the the remake. There's a part of the menu that has a bit of visible flicker for some reason (laughs) but outside of that i don't really usually notice it in games so the flicker would still be there if you like lock to a lower frame rate right or is it or is it just the variability i think it gets worse with variability but it can still appear with like specific near black like low light scenes yeah i wouldn't doubt that at all but i just think just lit, lit obviously the thing you're noticing beyond the fact that it is flickering is just variability in things we always want consistent experiences you can get used to 60 hertz CRT flicker, for example. It's real. Oh, yeah. It doesn't not exist, but you can get used to it really quickly. Yeah, so. We had 50 hertz in yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's hard to get burn. used to. It, you can, it's really visual. That's 50 yeah. hertz is really visual. My goodness. 